Hi everyone, this is Aaron from HH Watch Reviews. Welcome back to the channel. Today I have the review of the San Martin SN0128G. I purchased this watch from San Martin's official website and uh, full disclosure, I was given an extra discount. So that's why you're seeing the little pop-up appearing here. Now, if you're interested in purchasing this watch, I will leave a link in the description down below and I'll also leave you a coupon code that you can use for the purchase of the watch. I've had this watch since uh, almost two weeks now, but mostly wore it over the last week. And uh, in this video, I wanna share with you what I like about this watch, my dislikes, and a little bonus discovery I made. But let's start with the measurements and specifications of the watch. We have a diameter of 40 millimeters at the case, but it's actually 40.9 millimeters at the bezel. We have a lug to lug distance of 49.4 millimeters, a thickness of 12.2 millimeters that's at the top of the dome sapphire crystal with AR coating. We have a lug width of 20 millimeters and the bracelet tapers down to 16 millimeters. We have a screw down crown that measures seven millimeters and it gives the watch 200 meters of water resistance, a coin edge bezel with a ceramic bezel insert, and the watch weighs 140 grams size to my seven inch wrist. The watch is running on an NH35 automatic movement that hacks and hand winds. It has 41 hours of power reserve and it beats at 21,600 beats per minute. Now, as a dive watch enthusiast, we know that there's often very limited color options when choosing a watch. Uh, we have the usual black dial, black bezel. Sometimes we have blue or even a green bezel insert option. Uh, so it's very refreshing to see another color. And the shade of burgundy used here is absolutely gorgeous. San Martin calls it wine red. I call it burgundy. Uh, but honestly, this color is very dynamic. Depending on how the light hits it, it can look very dark or it can be a very light red. And uh, pair that with the gold elements on the dial and you have a perfect match. We've all seen these hour markers and hands before, so I'm not going to spend too much time on that. But uh, I just want to say that I'm very happy they decided to print everything this beautiful gold color. And I think the matching between the gold and burgundy is very nice. So that's the first thing I really like about this watch. The second thing is the bracelet. I've owned a few different San Martin watches and so I've had experience with the three link bracelet and also the beats of rice bracelet. Uh, they've both been very good. So I obviously I expected this five link bracelet to be as good, if not better, and it doesn't disappoint. We have solid end links and the end links fit the case perfectly. Uh, the links are just the right size and they're all held with screws. Uh, the finishing of the outer uh, brushed links is the same quality as the finishing of the case. So very well done. And the middle three links are polished beautifully. The bracelet measures 20 millimeters at the case and tapers down to 16 millimeters. Uh, in my opinion, this is the ideal uh, bracelet taper for this size of watch. The clasp is the new clasp with the on-the-fly micro adjustments. I've mentioned my concerns about this clasp before in another video, and I haven't changed my opinion about it since they haven't made any changes to the clasp. But the bracelet interior edges are actually soft to the touch, and I haven't noticed any sharp edges around the case. So at least they got that right on this bracelet, but the clasp is still the same as before. So there are some sharp edges around the bottom of the clasp. The comfort of the bracelet has been great. It hasn't pulled any of my arm hairs. So overall, I really like this bracelet. Also, as a little bonus, if you own other San Martin watches with similar case or dimensions, this bracelet might actually fit that watch. So I tried it on the Pepsi GMT and I think it looks freaking amazing. Like this is the bracelet that should have came with that watch in my opinion. I mean, look at this. It's just absolutely gorgeous. So moving along, uh, next up on the list of likes is the case thickness. Even though this is a bigger watch with a pretty long lug to lug distance, I think this wears great on my wrist. Uh, in my opinion, the thickness of this watch plays a big role in the way this watch wears. The watch is large and long, but the thickness of only 12.2 millimeters. Uh, I think it sits very close to my seven inch wrist and really hugs it. I feel like San Martin got the case's uh, center of gravity just right and the watch sits very balanced on the wrist. Obviously, the wearing experience may vary depending on your wrist size and shape, but for me, I think this is a very balanced watch on my wrist. 
Now, in this section, I'm going to mention what I don't like about this watch, but I want to take a moment and explain myself a little bit here because some people think I'm being too harsh in this section of my reviews. I mean, these are things that I personally don't like about the watch. It doesn't mean that the watch is not well made or that you should also hate it and agree with me, but you know, these are just personal tastes. And uh, if it's a quality issue, I will say it, but otherwise it's just my personal taste. And so with that, I want to start with the first thing I don't like, the bezel and bezel insert. I think that the bezel insert size is small and the proportions don't fit the size of the watch. This is mainly because of the way the bezel is designed. This is a coin edge bezel design and I really like coin edge bezels. But the issue here is that if you look at the outer rings, I feel like the top surface is maybe a millimeter or two too big. You have this polished ring around the bezel, but then you also have an inner polished ring that's about the same width that surrounds the crystal. So the bezel insert just feels squished between these two metal rings and it's just too narrow in my opinion. I like the coin edge design once again. I really like the color of the bezel insert. I think it's just the dimensions that don't work for the proportions of the case and maybe the dial. The second thing I don't like is also related to the bezel. Uh, now the bezel is very easy to grip, easy to turn, everything lines up and there's no back play. But the sound is just so loud. Like I really like clicky bezels, but this one is on another level. Like here, have a listen. I'm going to compare it to my Black Bay 58 and uh, a Seiko SPB 143 and you'll hear the difference. Like there's something very calming about spinning a bezel, just like a fidget spinner, but this one is so loud, it just gets distracting. Then we have the movement. Now I'm really happy they went for a Seiko movement, but I hate the fact that they decided to go over the NH35. There are a lot of brands that are coming out with no date watches and they're using the NH38 movement. So I'm sure San Martin is able to get their hands on these movements because honestly, it just feels like they're cheaping out and giving us this ghost date position when you pull out the crown. And it just feels cheap in my opinion. So please, San Martin, if you want to make a no date version of a watch, please use an NH38 movement. Now, the next two things are even more of a personal preference. They, they're not dislikes, but I would prefer another option. So the first thing is the slightly domed crystal here. I think it doesn't match the coin edge bezel or the flat bezel insert. Personally, I think they fit better with a sloped bezel design. In this case, I would have preferred a flat or maybe a top hat sapphire crystal. And uh, the second thing is the case size. Like I mentioned before, I think this watch is very comfortable to wear and fits very nicely on my wrist, but I prefer a smaller case. Like, I don't know if it's because of the size of the bezel insert or just the size of the watch, but there's just something that looks weird and it feels too big on my wrist, even though I know that it fits it uh, perfectly and, you know, it wears very comfortably. It's just visually feels big and uh, I think I would have preferred if it was a 39 millimeter case. But overall, I think this is a great watch, uh, especially for people with bigger wrists. I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that were waiting for San Martin to make a BB41 or a bigger version of their very popular, for example, the Pepsi GMT or, you know, all the other 38, 39 millimeter watches that are uh, based on this design. Uh, so again, this is a great option for you guys. And, uh, you know, if you're not into the gold accents or the burgundy bezel insert, there is also a regular black version available. Uh, all the texts and markers are all printed in white. So, you know, a monochrome option is out there. So what do you think of this watch? I mean, is this a watch that you've been waiting for San Martin to make? Are you uh, one of those, you know, people with bigger wrists that were waiting for a bigger size? Uh, so leave a comment down below and let me know what you think of this watch. 
And as usual, if you enjoyed this video, please like it and share it with a friend or two. And if you want to see more watch content, please subscribe to the channel and click on that notification bell if you want to be notified whenever I upload a new video. So as always, thank you for watching and I'll talk to you on the next one.